this clip, I want to show you something important about how these disks function. And I like to call this the magnet test. We use a very strong magnet uh, to demonstrate um, the weakness it causes or the disconnect it causes to the central nervous system when it's placed over the conception vessel. Now before I go any further with that, I want to show you the basics of muscle testing. Muscle testing is a measure of the efficiency of the person's nervous system. So in this test, I'm testing the rectus femoris muscle, and I'm not trying to overpower or push her over. I'm going to work with her and ask her to lock her knee against my hand. So I'm pushing in that direction towards the foot, and as we push, I push, she pulls backwards, and you'll notice we lock. Now because her central nervous system is responding really well, the receptors in her muscle are responding really well and we can work together to come to a lock. We both resist. There isn't any travel. There's no weakness. It's just a sign that she can activate her central nervous system to make the receptors in her muscles lock against my hand. The strange phenomenon is that when you take a very strong group of magnets like this and place it over the conception vessel, which is an acupuncture meridian that runs from the bottom of the lip to the pubic symphysis, somehow the central nervous system shorts out. Now I'll ask her to resist again, resist please, and she isn't able to lock the muscle. And again, resist, and she's unable to lock the muscle. If I remove the magnet, place it over here, Within a couple seconds, she's once again able to lock the muscle. The interesting phenomenon with the discs is that they have the capacity to negate the negative effect of a strong magnet over the conception vessel. So once again, magnets over the conception vessel, she's unable to resist. If I take a titanium disc and place it next to the magnet, she will now be able to resist without any trouble. If I remove the disc and place it here, the magnet is still on the conception vessel, so she will go weak or be unable to lock the muscle. If I place it back next to the magnet and test again, she will be completely strong. Well, it seems that the negative influence of the magnet on her central nervous system is corrected by the energetic patterns that are within the disc. However, if I take a disc and place it on her and then test her, she will be strong. But if I take the magnet and place it back into the field, even though the disc is there, resist, she won't be able to resist. However, if I take the disc itself out of the field and then replace it again next to the magnet, she will be strong. So somehow the disc is counteracting the effect of the magnet. Now, if the disc is placed on a field, I call that her new normal. The energetic pattern coming off her right now is now her normal state. If I introduce a negative influence, that is now her normal state. The magnet is creating a normal state in her, which is energetic imbalance, even though the disc is present, and therefore, she, was, she will go weak. If I take the disc out of her field, that is her no, now new normal state. And if I return the disc into her electromagnetic field, it will make a correction and she will be strong.